Big games do not necessarily warrant big plays, guys. They do not demand the biggest plays of the season just because it's the Super Bowl, the Final Four, the NCAA title game. It doesn't necessarily mean a handicapper should have or a customer should expect that play to be one of the biggest of the season. Truth be told, guys, you know, you find your best value as a handicapper and as a gambler, a player, on busy cards where, as I say, I like to concentrate the most where the odds makers concentrate the least. So, you know, on a Saturday in college football, the more key games, I don't care what sport you're talking about, they always have the sharpest line. How many times have you seen a marquee game come right down almost to the number? Guys, they always have the sharpest line. You will also often find, you know, whether it's college basketball or college football, some of your best bets and some of my best bets in the Sunbelt Conference, out in the WAC, the Mountain West Conference. Again, I like to concentrate the most where the odds makers concentrate the least. Look at the Super Bowl this past year, guys. You know, a lot of guys, um, you know, go crazy, and they make it their biggest bet of the season. What a great way to lose your bankroll and to definitely fall into that abyss from which there is no escape when you bet more than you can afford to lose. It's just another game. And because it's one of the most overanalyzed games in all of sports history because you've got that two-week hiatus and that's everybody talking about that one game, people go crazy and they bet on it. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. You know, the Super Bowl here between Indianapolis and New Orleans, I had the wrong side. But it was just a 15-dime play. I had four 30-dime plays the previous two years in the NFL and won them all. I had a couple 25s, even a 20 here and there. But it was just a 15-dime play. Of course, I had won 11 of my previous 13 15 dime plays. I'm 26 8 and 2 with those 15 dime plays in the 2008 through 2010 seasons in the NFL. It was just another game. No stronger than a 15 dime play that I had on a Thursday night in the Mid American Conference. No stronger than a 15 dime play that I may have had in the Mountain West Conference on a Saturday afternoon in college football. It was just another game. I didn't go ahead and magnify the importance of the game by just simply releasing a big play on it because the game didn't warrant it. That's something you have to be cognizant of as a potential customer, as a current customer. Because guys, you always have to watch out. Handicappers at this site, I won't let them just prostitute themselves because it's a big game. But I know a lot of guys out in this business, they know you want to go crazy and bet, and you get a lot of newbies, a lot of fresh money on big games. They come out of the woodwork for that big championship game. Well, they know. If they assign it a higher rating, they can charge you more money. We don't operate that way. I have never bet that way in my life. I'm damn sure not going to let any handicapper at this site, of which I'm general manager of, prostitute themselves that way either. So that's something for you to always consider.